and the 9500 and the 9600 have been hit. So we've sold a good amount of Bitcoin up in this level up here, what we were expecting. And I've gone short throughout this whole range for different numbers that go all the way from um, uh, 8,800 all the way down to uh, 8,000. Um, so we're going to be looking for a pullback here. I did my latest trade, which was, if I go sh shorter term, let's go to a four hour. Um, this is purely a mathematical trade because of the fact that we have, let me put these lines correctly. And this is something interesting that you should know. Some trades that I do, the reason I don't enter at the highs or whatnot is because of the fact that they are not statistically, they're, they're not there. They This new trade that's from um, 9,300 that goes all the way down to 8,800, just, um, it just came into being um, the past uh, few hours. So by everything that it's done and so forth, it became statistically probable of a move down occurring. Um, so we'll, we'll look for that to happen. And I've got two trajectories and two time periods of which this would occur from. So we're, we'll see how that turns out. But it didn't confirm until it traded back to this 9300 from uh, above the 95 to 9600. So some of my trades are completely different than other trades. Um, I'm not predicting. I'm going off of what statistically is likely to happen and the signals that are there and of. And the signals sometimes can be um, top down to top up type of signals where you know you're going off the highs versus uh, something that is top down that you're going off of a confirmation. So it's kind of interesting mathematically how they, they differentiate as far as the signal generation of itself goes. But it's purely mathematical and it's funny that I saw the message about Euler in uh, the room. <laughs> I mean, I, I think you should read him. Uh, it's very interesting. Uh, hidden Markov uh, models also. Uh, that's something that I use in my trading. Um, it, it's a way to bridge uh, the quantitative statistical analysis that I use with um, the mathematical equations to go over and create the type of uh, trades and, and statistics. So that's something to uh, you might want to look at. And I'll, I'll probably go into stuff like that in the future a little bit more so you have an understanding. Um, but uh, other than that, we're looking at these two lines right here. And these are two trajectories with Bitcoin trading back to uh, 9,300 and under. And we'll see if we get a, a stronger push down in the next uh, coming days and so forth. Um, which is more probabilistic now, um, currently with what's going on. Um, and other than that, what, what do we got going on? Um, my Tesla is now at 650 and above. Uh, it's done absolutely great. I'm going to have to take off half of it uh, because it's above this 200% line. I think I showed you this uh, a while back ago. Here, let's go to a weekly. I've been waiting for this. Now it has a very parabolic move. I, I don't even really want to get rid of any, but it, it's above this red line, which is at 600, which is 200% from these levels. And the, the statistics of this in the future, not right now, but in the future of us going back to the 380s um, is likely. Um, that's just for the people who uh, were interested in what I did here with uh, Tesla when I was looking for um, the, most of this is uh, the, the short run and the hype, and it's kind of very parabolic because if we look at the, uh, some of the numbers, um, it, it's very overvalued. But it deserves to be because it is the future. Teslas are going to just take over. I mean, they are fantastic cars, and now they're coming out with the Model Y and, and also the Cybertruck. Oh, oh man. I'm going to have to, I'm going to definitely get the Cybertruck. Uh, it's bizarrely bizarre, but it's so freaking cool. You know, I'm looking at it more and more and I'm doing the research on looking at the interior and the way it's designed. Oh man, it's like, wow, it's the future. Um, so anyway, 
Uh, that's where Tesla is. And now BSV, I told you about that one. I'm staying away from it. There's, there's nothing here. This is all a hype move. And the chances of it going back to 180 and maybe even down here in the, the mid to low 100 range is very high. Uh, it's being only pushed up by its, uh, you know, and I showed you that article um, in the chat room uh, where they said that they, he knows who's behind the phone. It's, it's just bullshit. But I was able to catch them ahead of time. I was able to buy it all the way from that low 100 range all the way down to under 80. And great. It was a great trade. And, uh, you know, but, you know, I, I, right now it's not worth the risk. Uh, he, maybe he'll push it all the way up again, but eh, I don't see it. And uh, what other interesting things do we have? B and B is in the 18 range. Um, I could see this going back up to that 24 still. Nothing has really changed, um, you know. Uh, but it's kind of boring, so not much interest right there. And other than that, you know, we'll just wait for BTC to cycle through. And uh, you know, I am looking for us to push down. Um, oh, got in the wrong one. Let's go back to Coinbase. BTC. And. Oh, that's not the one I want to do. Okay, let me correct that. It's being difficult. Do, 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 do. Why are you not showing me what I want to see? Come on, let's see. Here we go. All right, well, anyway, I just woke up, so I'm a little slow, obviously. Um, we're going to be looking for a pump down. It's on a clear trajectory now. It, it has um, good numbers. It might pump back up here. If it does, I'm going to be selling more. Uh, closer to this 95, but I'm going to be going for that 8,800 and under level. It becomes high probability in the short term of us uh, in this range, you know, clicking out and even down to the gap level of the 8,500, which is also logical. So I've got trades for there and all the way back down to the 8,000 level. So we'll look for that to occur. It did cross the 95 and 9600. We closed out trades from longs to those numbers. Those targets were hit. Uh, again, very logical, and that's uh, occurred. And we can go back in the chart here. And all the models, everything that I've stated and so forth is done. The bigger range has completed here when we traded back to 9600 now there still can be another push that goes all the way back there's a, still a statistic that can push us all the way back above the 10,000 uh, mid 10,000 range uh, before a pullback but I'm not going to predict that right now short term I've got this to uh, focus on and that's the most likely um, to occur statistically um, all the the uh, equations and, and numbers lined up for this so we'll watch for that to happen. And that's basically it. I will update you later in the week and we'll keep on rolling and have a great week.